Give me Isaiah 96. Give me that. One. Yeah, Saul was one of those. Hey. Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 6. For unto us a child is born. So unto us a child is born. Who is this talking about? But is, is it come up here, brother? What's your name? Name, they call me Bilal. That's my Muslim name, Bilal. Bilal. So you're Muslim? Yeah, uh-huh. So you believe in the rock, the stone, yeah, all that uh -huh. good, all that, all that stuff? Yeah, uh-huh. Okay, why, why you believe in that stuff? Because. That, that, that is the way a man should live. That, I believe that Islam is the truth. Well, well, okay, so so that, that's your foundation, right? Yeah, uh-huh. Well, give me some, well, why, do you, why, do you, why do you stand on that foundation? Why do I stand on that foundation? Yeah, give me some roots, give me. To me? What, what laws does it give you? How does it govern you? It helps me, um... Uh, you know, walk as a man. You know what I'm saying? How a man should should be. How should a man walk? How should a man walk? Mm -hmm. Yeah, bold, bold in what he believes in. Man should believe in one God and only one God. Mm -hmm. A man should uh, believe in principles. What, what uh, are those principles? Some of the principles are, for, uh, give me, give me for example, uh, the, uh -huh. the man is the leader of the household. Okay. Yeah, he uh, is the protector of the woman. That's another thing, all right? As far as a man's relationship with God, his prayers, he prays five times a day to a law. Uh, he uh, fasts every like what? Once a year, which is required once a year, the month of Ramadan. Uh, it's, it's, it's so many other things. A man, when he wipes himself, he should wipe himself with his left hand. He should eat with his right hand. He should walk into the bathroom with his left hand. You know what I'm saying? That's just some of the things that I believe it, it's more, it's like a lot of structure to it. It makes it you disciplined. That's is the it? thing that it is. Okay, all right. I, I heard you, I heard you, I heard you. So, what does all of that have to do with salvation? It has to do with a lot. The, the discipline, the, uh, the dedication to, to God. We doing all that for the sake of Allah, which is, uh, Allah means we all believe in the same God. Allah just means the one God. We all believe in the same God. Just like the God you talking about, we believe in Him. But the only thing difference is between, the main difference is, we believe that Jesus was only a man, and Jesus was not the Son of a, uh, son of God. We believe that Jesus did not die on the cross. Right. I got you, bro. You, you said some heavy things, right? We also believe in discipline. Here's the thing, though. Uh, we believe, because we can prove it through the Bible, with history and various things that happened to us because of not adhering to this discipline, right? So I'm going to read something, and I'm going to deal with it. We're going to dialogue a little bit, right? Because we believe in the Bible because the Bible proves our history in it. And it gives us our solution to get out of our thing. The Quran doesn't give us any solutions. Nor does it give us any prophecies. Though they call Muhammad a prophet, there's not one prophecy in the Quran. There's several prophecies in the Bible, right? But I like what you said about discipline, right? How a man ought to walk. Read what you got. Wisdom of Solomon 1 and 5. The book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 1 and verse 5. For the Holy Spirit of discipline will flee deceit. Right, so you, I agree with you. The, the spirit of discipline will flee, uh, flee deceit, right? Give me a... Uh, uh, it's in uh, Sirach 17, 17. Sirach 17, 17, right? So I'm going to show you what the Holy Spirit of discipline is that we believe in, right? Because uh, he asked you how uh, what, how do you become a man or what, what things are man characteristics? And you say uh, something about walking with your left hand, white with your right hand, things like that. And I'm not saying that those things are necessarily bad things, but how do those, they got, how, read what you got, read what you got, and I'm going to deal with something. The book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 17, verse 17. 
For in the division of the nations of the whole earth, uh -huh. he set a ruler over every people. Right. So when God created all nations, he divided the nations. He separated them. Right. There's 18 nations documented in the Bible. And of these 18 nations, he separated all of them, and he, but he, uh, and he gave them all rulers. Right. Read. But Israel. But who? But Israel. But Israel. Is the Lord's portion. But out of all of those nations, he chose Israel. Now, what did he do after choosing Israel? Read. Whom being his firstborn, uh -huh. he nourisheth with discipline. With what? With discipline. What's the discipline? And giving him the light of his love. His what? The light of his love right. doth not forsake him. Right. The love is his laws. That's, right. That's how we know we have discipline. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not bear false witness. Right? Give me uh, Leviticus 26 and 1. Right? Now, you believe in the Torah, right? Yeah. Right. I'm going to give you what the Torah says about Islam. And why we don't need to be dealing in that thing because we learned it in slavery. That's where we learned it. And then after after this, give me uh uh he that line uh, you know what I'm talking about? He that what? Um, yeah yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. Right read what you got. Read what you got. Listen. The book of Leviticus chapter 26 and verse one. Ye shall make you no idols. So you shall make you no idols, right? Read no other gods, which is the first commandment of God. Read. Nor graven image. Neither rear you up a standing image, uh -huh. neither shall ye set up any image of stone. Of what? Of stone in your land. Right. So, I'm, I'm sorry. So, as a Muslim, right? What's something that a Muslim they say should do at least once in his lifetime? Oh, take a Mr. Mecca. Take a what? Take a Mr. Mecca. Right. Uh, right. A Hajj, right? Mm -hmm. And once they they do this Hajj, what do they do to like that culminates their whole? Journey. Yes, everybody criticizes you. you kiss I'm, the stone. I'm, you I'm walk asking the question, the bro. Yeah, yeah. You walk around the Kaaba. Yeah, right. Such, such and such. That's now, just you said you believe in the Torah, right? Yeah. What is the Torah? This Leviticus is the Torah, right? Mm -hmm. Read what you got again. Ye shall not make you. Ye shall make you no idols, uh -huh. nor graven image. Neither, neither rear you up a standing image. Uh -huh. Neither shall ye set up any image of stone in your land uh -huh. to bow down unto it. So what? To bow down unto it. So what they do when they, they go around this stone? What do they do? This 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 same out. This yeah, your this you your know, faith, right? Touch it, they kiss it. We pay. We they pray. bow down to it. They yeah. pray to it. They kiss it. They put their head in the little thing that represents. A, they they do this, right? Yeah. We reading the Torah. What did the Torah say? One more time, so we don't lose the point. Neither shall you set up any image of stone in your land uh -huh. to bow down unto it, for I am the Lord your God. Right. God is your God. You were the only people on the planet that was made in the image of him. We don't, we don't, a rock won't save us. Bowing to no rock won't save us. You know why? Because God is a man of war. Right. A literal person with a body, hair like yours and everything. Why we need to bow down the stones? God gave the other nations those things to worship, right. not us. You, you know what I'm saying? When we worship him, we disobey our God and disrespect our God that literally has done things and destroyed these nations for dealing with us. You know, we dishonor our father by doing that thing. Now, give me, I'm going to show you what the Bible says, how we learned about Islam and why we were made to serve these things. Read. And then we're going from here, we're going to get uh, uh, Deuteronomy, uh, you know, I want to read. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 3 and verse 2. Lift up thine eyes unto the high places and see what thou hast not been lying with. So he's talking to the children of Israel. He says, see where you have not been lying with, meaning polluted by. And or spoiled like by, or indoctrinated by, right? Read. And the ways, has the ways, in the ways, as what? Hast thou set for them huh? as the Arabian in the wilderness? Right. We learned how to be Muslims in slavery That's to right. Muslims. This is well documented history. They did the same thing that this white man did to us. And just like when that white man came over and with a cross and said, bow down to white Jesus, or I'm going to put you to death. They did the same thing, serve Allah or get put to death. That's right. There is no such thing as a black man being a Muslim. Muslims are Arabs, not us. That's not what we are. That's not what we are. That's what we became. We became Gentiles or heathen-minded men and women because we were, were done in slavery like this. Now get me that in Leviticus. You know what I want? New gods. Uh, not new gods. Uh, wood and stone. 64. Right? Good job. Deuteronomy 28, 64. Watch this. And then, and then you won't come back up. Right? Read what you got. Now, what, now, what are the two most dominant religions on the planet of today? Christianity and Islam. Christianity and Islam. That's, that's, that's baby town frolics, right? That's simple to understand. No religion on the planet is more dominant than Christianity, 
Islam. Top, top two religions, right? Watch what the Bible in the Torah. That's why I'm specifically sticking with the Torah because you, you say you don't believe the rest of the Bible. So I'm going to deal with the Torah. Watch what the Torah say about these main two religions. This is a curse, by the way. Matter of fact, start at verse 15, then we're going to get there. Watch this. So this is what would happen to the Israelites if we broke the commandments or we went away from that discipline that God told us not to do. Right? You with me? Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes, which I command thee, thee command thee this day. That's that that's that discipline we talked about, read. Right? That all these curses uh -huh. shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So if we fell away from our discipline, we will be cursed as a people. What curse matters in the Torah that I want you to hear, right? Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 64. With me, Bilal? Yeah, yeah, Listen. most definitely. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth even unto the other. How would that happen? Slave trade. That's right. That's how we would be scattered, through the slave trade. Sold over to Chinese people, Arabs, Africans, white men, East Indians, wherever there's people on the planet looking to get in on it, that's where we were scattered and sold to. But what would happen when we were scattered, read? And there, and in these lands that you were slaves to, thou shalt serve of no even one. That's your cross that Christ died on. Read. And stone. That's your Kaaba stone in Islam. That's right. He told you the dominant relations that are uh, the dominant religions that you were served scattered in these lands. Those aren't the only ones, but those are the top two for sure. Matter of fact, uh, get, get uh, uh, Psalms 83. Break down Psalms 83. Listen carefully, Bala. Allah, you get, you get that was all praises. You get you, what, what didn't you understand? I understand. You understand. I, I heard a lot of it before. That's what I'm saying. I oh, heard you heard it. a lot of it before. Yeah. It's going out one ear and going out another one. No, no, it ain't going out one ear. All, right, all one. praises. No, keep keep listening. Check check this, check this out. Check this out. The book of Psalms, chapter eighty-three, verse one. Keep not thou silence, O God. Hold not thy peace, uh -huh. and be not still, O God. For lo, thine enemies. So guess what? The Arabians are the enemies. The Arabians is not they, they they're not your help. That's that's a vain help that we just read about in Lamentations. You understand that? According to the Torah, it's a vain help. Come on. For lo, thine enemies, thine enemies make a tumult. They make a tumult, right? Uh, 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 what is that? An angry gathering, right? An uh, uh, angry gathering, right? To heap all types, to heap all men. Right, because our people, we love, we love noise. Right, we love, it, it, it brings us, it, it like, something happening, oh, we're going to go to that. We're going to flock to that. Right, but guess what? Read on. And they that hate thee, they hate you. That's not, they're not, they're not there to compel you to salvation. They hate you. You understand? The sub-Saharan slave trade, you know that history? Yeah, yeah. You know the history? You still in, you still in Islam? I know the history. Come on. And they that hate thee have lifted up the head. Not the Atlantic slave trade. I'm talking about the sub-Saharan slave trade with the Arabs. Come on. Verse 3. They have taken taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. You are the hidden ones. You, you're not an Arab. That's the Arab's God. The scripture says all the gods of the other nations are idols. They're worthless. You have a better God to serve. You have a better God. To, the most high God created the heavens and the earth. Abraham. Allah don't mean no separate God. It just means it's an Arab. It's just a... Uh, Another term for, for God. That's all it brother, is. Brother, 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 brother. Islam is not the way of the Islam is not the way of the Torah. It's your your own religion speaks your own what the Torah speaks against Islam. You see what I'm saying? But y'all still believe that Jesus is the Son of God. Am I right or am I wrong? What's, okay, so what in and, and, and what you give me uh, uh, uh what is that in Samuel's where it says uh kingdom uh, everlasting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me that. So what what does how, how do you how do you get salvation? That's what I want to know. If from the Torah, because from the Torah it says you must sacrifice, right? Mm -hmm. So, what sacrifices are you doing to get salvation? Please explain. Many sacrifices. <laughs> well, what, what you mean? Come on, no, no, no. What you, what you mean? I mean praying five times a day, taking out your time, five times a day. Brother, brother, 
according to the Torah. Ramadan, your whole month of Ramadan, you giving up food, brother, sex, everything, brother, for the whole ac month. According to the Torah, a sacrifice, right, was of what? Animals, animal sacrifice. So what animals are you sacrificing? We, we, we sacrifice sac animals too during the month of Ramadan. Right. So, 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 so the what? So the so so the 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 month of Ramadan is your salvation. Yes. Uh huh. How, how so? Because we're doing all this for the sake of Allah, we giving up the worldly things for the sake of Allah. Brother, okay. So according to the Torah, right? What are, what are some of the, the the one of the laws of the Torah is fringes? I'm gonna make it basic, basic for you. One of the laws of the Torah is fringes. I'm gonna stick by what you stick by. The fringes, you know what fringes is, right? These are fringes, brother. Okay. These are fringes, right? All right. All right. Come on. Well, I'm gonna check this out. Okay. Yep. The book of Numbers, chapter 15, verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. So the Bible says that we are to bid the children of Israel to make them fringes in the borders of garment. Right? That's 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 what that's what the Torah says. That's what the Torah says. Do you celebrate the Sabbath day? No, you don't. But you say you believe the Torah. Right. Give me the Sabbath day, and then we, I'm gonna get you some more Islam. I'm gonna get you some more Islam. Ramadan. What's this right here? Uh -huh. No, no, you got your audio here. Give, give, give him, give him the Sabbath day, cause you believe in the Torah. So I'm, 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 I'm showing you that even from the Torah, you. Islam is not according to the Bible. The stone is not according to the Bible. Keeping the commandments that are written in the Torah, you're not even keeping. But even the Bible that we know today, it's still all adultery. It's, it's not the same. Ah, not so, the so, same. Now, so now there's a problem with the Torah. I'm just saying, the Come Bible on, man, that we you, know today you, is not the same. So, 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 it's, so, it's not. so Islam is the same? Yes. What does what is, what is Islam got to do with you keeping the laws of the Torah that you say you believe? I keep the laws of the Torah. No, you do. I what? the commandments. The Ten Commandments. I keep I'm, all of them. Go ahead. No, I go keep go them all. Bro, bro I'm, my bad, bro. Um, when was, when was, what's the, what's the history of Islam? When did it become a religion? When did it start? Right? It, it, it been started with Abraham, but for real, for real. The, the Torah never says that Abraham. Prove it. Was a Muslim never? And we we got the Torah. You believe in the Torah? Nowhere in the Torah does it, Abraham subscribe to Allah ever. Right? Uh, just just eliminate the word Allah. Abraham believed in one God. He did. In one God only. Right. As That's do we. what Islam means: total submission to one God. That's right. literal terms of Islam. Right. Where can you show me in the Bible uh, where Abraham said, "I'm." Uh, you're right, keep Ramadan. Because we can show where Abraham said circumcised. We can show you where Abraham sent up animal sacrifices. We can show you where Abraham kept basic laws that are in the Torah. You don't see him taking a hajj in the Torah. You don't see him uh, bowing down to a stone in the Torah. That didn't come across until Muhammad. But, but, you, but you, said that, you said that Islam started with Abraham. If Abraham started with this religion, how was he not doing the things that... that how does the person... I, I'm going to tell you straight. Islam came in 622 BCE, bro. You familiar? 622 BCE by way of... Um, what's my man's name? Muhammad. Muhammad was a... You know, what was Muhammad? What was he? Before he was a prophet, whatever. He, he was a regular man. He couldn't read or write. He, right, he was illiterate. Yeah. Yeah. And what, what was his like profession? What did he do for a living? What did he do for a living? He was a uh, right, right. He he had a he had a, I mean he had to eat right. Yeah. Uh -huh. Right. So what did he do? This is your guy. Yeah. Right. Uh -huh. So what did he do? Yeah. 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 His, his fam I think his family had money or something. He was a merchant. Yeah. Uh -huh. He bought and sold goods uh -huh. and things. Right. Yeah. You know where he frequented when he bought and sold those yeah. goods? Jews. Jews. You know what he learned when he frequented around these Jews? Their heritage. That's right. Their laws. Before Allah, uh, 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 this was what, polytheism? Or monotheism? Um, no, no, polytheism. Polytheism, polytheism, which is polytheism. one yeah. belief in one God, right? That's, that's more, more than one God. I'm sorry, multiple. Mo mono monotheism. Is one. Right, monotheism. Before um, Muhammad switched uh, Arabs to monotheism, which is belief in one God. You know how many gods Arabs believed in? Yeah, plenty, plenty. 300 and one for every day of the year. Yeah. And who was the supreme God? Allah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Allah was the supreme God. Yeah. That's that's their history. Real Muslims know and understand that. You know what people don't understand that? 
our people. Right. Our people simply to subscribe to something. You know why we subscribe so hard to Islam? Because we don't have an identity. That's right. Bilal. We need an identity. We want an identity. And we grasp at anything if it will make us feel like we have somewhere to belong. Even if it's not right for us. Even if it's proven that we learn these things by being oppressed. We have to belong somewhere because we have nowhere to go. We do have somewhere to go, but we don't believe it, right? Read what you got. Show them the book. Yep. From Babylon to Timbuktu, page 45. After Muhammad became a camel driver, uh -huh. he traveled to remote and intriguing lands. Read. He led his caravans to Persia, Syria, and Egypt, Read. transacting business with merchants of every kind. Right. So he was a merchant. He bought and sold goods, right? Yeah. Read what you got. On his business trips, he met Jews. He met what? He met Jews, Read. Christians, uh -huh. and members of other sects. Read. He interrogated them concerning the tenets of their religions. Right. So he had he had conversations with these peoples, right? Watch what the, this is a scholar, a historical scholar who understands the history of various religions, right? Read what you got. He frequented the environment of the Jews. He frequented meaning he sat with them often around who the jews why read and their rabbis read. mostly because they were merchants and an omnipresent ethnic group read. because he could not read or write uh -huh. his ears were attentive and keen to everything that the jews related to him right so he was a good listener and he frequented the Jews. He liked dealing with them, right? So what did he pick up from the Jews? This is what scholars understand about Muhammad, read. Muhammad learned and extracted much from the Jewish. He what? Learned and extracted much. Learned and took much from who? From the Jewish religion. Uh -huh. And compounded it with his new religion. With his what? His new religion. Read. Islam. Right. So, Maha is very well documented. That's why the Quran, what does the Quran mean? What does Quran mean? What does it mean? It's the Holy Book. No, that's not what Quran means. What does Quran mean? It means to recite. Oh, to that's recite. Right. That's yeah. what it means. Uh -huh. What is he reciting? The Bible. He sat around the Jews. Angels that's why, that's why, yeah, that's why they don't do things like eat pork. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's why they fast. A lot of the things that Islam does, the Bible says do, That's like right. fast. We do fast. We don't call it Ramadan. We actually call it the Day of Atonement. Because that's what God said call it. And on that day, we don't eat, we don't drink, we don't brush our teeth. We fast to the Lord and afflict our souls. Why? Because the God of the Torah, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Not Abraham, Isaac, and Ishmael. Right. Because the Arabs are sent from Ishmael, and Ishmael was put away. The seed went through Isaac. And Isaac had Jacob and Esau, and Jacob was chosen out of that, that, that bloodline. And uh, Jacob became Israel. Right? What you got? Right, get, get that real quick. Right? So, what we're going through is, is, is showing you that, um, bro, you got to come out of that, that Islam stuff, bro. It's, it's not yours. It's not yours. And everyone knows it. I'll I, I do you one solid. You, you're familiar with, uh, what's my man's name? Nick Cannon, Deshaun Jackson, those guys, right? Nick Cannon, what is, he, what is he wearing on his head? A lot of times. A turban, right? What is that associated with? Man, that's everything, man. It's I, more I, than just Muslims. That right, but, but most people would associate a turban with Islam, right? Most people. I'm not yeah. saying it's only them, but most yeah. people would associate turbans and things with Islam, with their customs and their culture, right? When Nick Cannon was wearing turbans, talking about pro-black and Africans and all this other stuff, they left him alone. They didn't bother him. What happened when he said, we the real Jews? That's right. You know? Oh yeah, they came out though. So what does that mean? On a carnal level, what does that mean? That means there's some truth to that thing. That's why they attacked it. They didn't attack him when he was talking Read about Germans and being Muslim. Right. They didn't attack him when he was talking about being African. Right. They attacked him when he said, we the Jews. Because the Jews run the media, of course. No, Jews the fake feel. Jews run the media, bro. <laughs> Revelations 2. The fake Jews, the people that stole you and our identity, run the media. That's who runs the media. Not the Jews. You're the Jew. That's right. We're the, this brother's the Jew. That brother's the Jew. The people you see in the ghettos of America are the Jews. The people that went into slavery are the Jews. The white people that run the media are converts, Khazars, dogs, beasts. That's right. That's what they are. Read what you got. 
the book of Revelation chapter 2 and verse 9. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Right. The devil runs the world today. That's right. And the devil stole you and I's heritage, and he's okay with you calling yourself a Muslim. You know what he's not okay with you doing? Calling yourself a Jew. Because the Bible says, give me um, Jeremiah 17 and 4. Yeah. Je Jeremiah 17 and 4. Jeremiah 17 4. Right? I'm going to show you something, man. And then we're going to get back to Psalms 83. Read. The book of Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. God gave you a heritage, bro. That's right. God gave you a heritage, law, statutes, and commandments to govern yourself by, not a religion. Our people seek a religion, and then in the various religions that our people serve, we don't even follow what the religion says. Our people walking around talking about they're Christians, and they follow Christ, and do what the Bible says, but none of them do what the Bible says. They up in church sleeping around with various members of the congregation when the Bible says thou shalt not commit adultery. The, they up there letting their daughters have boyfriends when the Bible says thou shalt not prostitute thy daughter to be a whore. They up in there uh, uh, in Sunday worship with a white image of Jesus when the Bible says, believe on me as the scriptures says here. Our people jump and flock to a bunch of things that they themselves don't even subscribe to. You know what they do? They say something that feels good. Oh, I'm a Christian or oh, I'm a Muslim. I'm a devout this, but I'm going to continue smoking my weed and I'm going to continue sleeping around with a bunch of women and hoes or a bunch of men or doing this and doing that. But as long as I call myself it, that's all that matters because the God I believe in, he, he knows me. He does know you, that you're wicked as hell. Right. And that if you don't stop doing those things, you're going to die when the true Messiah, the black Christ, according to the Bible, that is documented in the Torah, comes back to destroy all this stuff. Right? Psalms 83. Psalms 83. Now I'm going to show you about these Muslims. That why, If you continue calling yourself that and subscribing to these evil people that put you and I in change, how God feels about these people. Read what you got. Psalms chapter 83 and verse 1. Keep not thou silence, O God. Hold not thy peace, and be not still, O God. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. So the people that hate God uh, gathered together and consulted to go against God. God has enemies. So if God has enemies, by default, by default his people have enemies. Read what you got. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. So they've, they've come together against your people, God. Read. And consulted against thy hidden ones. The hidden ones is God's people because they don't know who they are. That's what makes them hidden. They call themselves blacks, niggas, negroes, uh, bad bees, real niggas, cuz, boo, blood. All, bro, we call ourselves everything but a child of God. We the hidden ones. We the hidden ones because we, we we all the same people, but we got various different religions that white people and Arabs and Chinese people gave us. We the same people, but what's your race, bro? I'm African American. What's your race, bro? I'm a real nigga. What's your religion? I'm an Asiatic black woman. What's your, bro? We the same people. We got different. We subscribe to 101 different things that was given to us by various people in slavery. Read what you got. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. The people that hate God and hate us cut us off from being a nation. They took our identity from us in slavery. Wow, what's your name, boy? Toby. Nope, that ain't your name. Wow, what's your name, boy? Kunta. Nope, that ain't your name yet. Wow, what's your name, boy? Kunta. Oh, this nigga's still rebelling. Wow, okay, it's Toby. All right, that nigga forgot. Now he's going to teach his children to forget. Right. Now he's going to teach his grandchildren to forget. That's what they're saying. To cut them off from being a nation. Cut, make them forget utterly everything that they are, where they come from, who their dignitaries are, who their princes, kings, queens were. Bring it out. Who were their cultures? Where did they dance? How did they dress? What holidays did they keep? Cut them off utterly from being a people so that they call themselves everything that we tell them. Tell them break them and then teach them all over again what I want them to know. Read what you got. That the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. Will it be in no more remembrance by them or us? They know who we are. They know who we are. We don't know who we are. So when it says that the name of Israel will be no more in remembrance, who's the people that's not going to remember that they're Israel? Because they've done countless documentaries on them fake Jews over there and asked them, 
Can you prove that by blood you're the people of, of the, uh, the Holy Land? The answer is no. They know that they're not the people of that land. Read what you got. For they have consulted together with one consent. Whoa, whoa, what am I looking like on time, bro? What time is it? Read what you got. You good, you good, you good. They are confederate against thee. Uh -huh. The tabernacles of Edom. Enemy number one on God's hit list, the so-called white man. That's who Edom is. The so-called white man. Who is enemy number two? This is why it's so important that you stop calling yourself a damn Arab, Bilal. Stop calling yourself that. Why? Because number two on God's hit list is who? And the Ishmaelites. And the Arabs that put you in slavery and beat your tail. Till this day, they doing it over there in Saudi Arabia. Right. Where else they, they sitting over there? Libya. Mauritania, Libya. Morocco, Libya. They beating your tail over there right now. The Arabs, go over there and call yourself an Arab. Go over there and call yourself a Muslim, Bilal. And see right if they don't cut your head off. Right. They not playing with you. Right. They not playing with you at all. Yep. We, we play that, that simple game over here calling ourselves Muslims. Call yourself a Muslim over there. They will decapitate you and tell you to your face. You ain't no damn Muslim. That's you a nigga. That's, that's, that's what they gonna tell you. They gonna tell you not us. That's that, bro. I hate to break it to you, bro. We, the the day of foolishness ends. It's too much information out here. We used to scream "Black Power" while Heron was pushed, but at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.